Hello, I'm Malcolm Love and uh, with my colleague Emily, we're trainers facilitating this week with the Cognovians. I'm just about to introduce the whole programme, explain to them what the outline of the week is going to be and uh, find out a little bit about them. On Friday, the Cog Jam event is going to be a cabaret show where some of you will be performing, taking, taking part, but simultaneously you now have your own radio station to broadcast live the cabaret event. It actually exists now. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm facilitating this course with Malcolm. A um, long time ago I was a research scientist, did a PhD in genetics, also worked as an actress, worked as a teacher, and I now do science communication in the media, so I talk about science on the telly and on the radio. But we've just spent the last session, everyone gave a little suggestion as to the sorts of roles that they might like to take on in the project. Today we worked with Malcolm and Emily and the first part of the, of the morning involved them making us think about how we engage with the public on the subject of science and scientific research. We just kind of brainstormed on the kinds of things we'll be doing um, for this cabaret show. And now we've just, uh, we've just finished the day and we're just going to sit and uh, let, let these ideas percolate. It's the second day of the week and now we're heading to the radio station to check out what's happening on there. Hi, I'm Alistair and this is uh, Eat Music Studio and uh, very excited to be working with the Cognovians this uh, Friday. I actually know what will be uh, happening on the night, uh, but I know that uh, with this studio we'll be able to capture some of the interviews some live performance and also a radio broadcast of the event itself. So we're hoping to create some sort of game show, I guess. Essentially like Mythbusters. Um, so we're going to talk about myths in science, whether they're real, whether they're not. And we're interested in doing something with the sound of uh, projection. We use uh, something like a projector as uh, an instrument, a musical instrument. I haven't used this for a couple of years, so I had to work out how it works again. <laughs> Control the frames per second in this way and uh, yeah that's uh, you put your hand there yeah. so we just got it basically so the next stage is trying to turn it on get access to it yeah depending on what capabilities the robot has we'll decide what to actually do with it I think we can do something Christos is, is laughing at me but I, I think I think I think yes we will we will be able to do something yeah we kind of got together into the Rumpus Cozy to um, see if the rehearsal works out, uh, what to do, where the projectors will be, connecting it with the radio people. And it's a bit stressful, it's a bit, it's exciting, people are really hungry and <laughs> well, maybe it's a long day, but so far it's fun. So what we are trying to work on is sort of a game called Mythbusters. I think uh, at this stage we are pretty good because we have a proper script and we know what the, the, the myths that we are going to talk about and they sound really great in theory let's see how how the implementation is going to work out because at the end it's it it really depends on the kind of audience that we have I'm myself board for stage manager i think it's a really exciting role to get involved in there's lots of running around to do and coordinating people and i think we've got such a wide variety of of different performances it's going to have something to appeal to everybody the biggest concern might be how we're going to link the radio broadcast seamlessly with the live um, feed. I've been doing a bit of everything, prop making for the show. Um, I've made these brains for Ilaria's Golden Brains game show. I've sort of been put together from bits and pieces that we had in the office, like a bit of plasticine and some latex and gold paint. This afternoon we were doing a, a run through. Things. Yeah, lots of things, lots of things, um, all involving running through tonight's performance. So we ran through each of um, the acts. Um, Chris did a presentation, so did Michaela, and I played the piano. So we went through all the pieces and we got some feedback and now everybody's back to work because we just have a couple of hours left. It starts in uh, less than four hours and um, now we are preparing for the show. Okay, it's seven o'clock, we're in Rumpus Cozy and uh, tonight, well, this is it. Just in, in, in about half an hour's time, um, we're gonna kick off. How's it gonna go? I think they're gonna do just great. We've given away quite a few tickets, but the weather is absolutely filthy outside there. And, um, well, people will come or they won't, but these guys are gonna perform well. We're setting up for the, the projector piano duet. We've only got 15 minutes till we've got a 
officially begin, at least in the radio station, so just want to make sure it's all ready. If you can hear, we're just listening to the guys at Rumpus Cozy and they're doing a bit of a sound check, so we're going to get the go-ahead from them and then I'm going to give a really short introduction before they start. Well, we have the usual last minute uh, surprises, like, uh, but that's kind of, um, it's, it's no surprise that there are surprises, so it's fine. and I'm incredibly excited to introduce the first ever Radio Cognovia um, event tonight. So we're bro broadcasting from Eat Music and Rumpus Cozy um, and it's going to be a pretty unusual event because the entirety of the show has been sort of designed and produced uh, as well as written and performed by all the researchers in Cognovo. work on different things. Maybe you can briefly introduce what you are working on. My uh, research area is computational neuroscience. Right. Um, and in the past I have um, sort of used music to display some of my results. quite relieved actually it's been a long and tiring week so uh, yeah I'm glad it's over but I feel like I'm glad I'm glad I'm done it as well so they said what differentiates creative people from the rest is that they will perform so much better at this test so they said what differentiates creative people from the rest is that they will perform so much better at the test. Thank you very much. <laughs> 